So what is it that makes difficult things easy to play? What's that magic factor that allows you, for instance, to play as fast as that guy you saw in recital whose fingers were just whizzing? Didn't you watch him and think, my God, I'll never be able to play that fast. But with piano somatics, you just might be able to do it. Hi, I'm Alan Fraser, and this is Piano Somatics, where we learn to move better in order to play better. What is this special kind of movement which is going to allow me to run like the wind on the keyboard? As I said before, the hand is a mini body. So if we can understand something about the dynamics of running and transfer that to the hand, we have a chance of succeeding. So when I'm walking, there's always at least one foot on the ground and often two feet on the ground. You transfer the weight smoothly. Now when I'm running, there's only one foot on the ground at any time and often there's none no feet on the ground. So the leg is launching the body up into the air, springing up much more than we ever do in walking. And what's more, the work of these muscles here in the calf, they're contracting and decontracting, but if I go really fast, they just stay elastically loaded and bounce, making the thing even more mechanically efficient. How can I transfer that to the piano? What happens often in a scale, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but people play and they play a scale and then they're faster. The faster they go, the more it kind of breaks down and they, they actually fall down. Like running and just falling over your own feet because you're trying to go too fast. Somehow the brain, when we run in real life, gets the legs more springy the faster we go. But at the piano, the brain does this weird thing where it says, no, 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 there's no way I can move my fingers that fast and it starts stumbling over themselves. How can piano somatics help? We said the hand is a mini body, so what if we understood the standing action better? What if we understood that this finger standing up, the tip of the finger is dropping, but it's pushing the hand's hip joint, the metacarpal phalangeal joint, up into the air. And the next step happens the same. And so there's this vital standing action, a kind of launching action. But look, if I did this with more energy, I would launch my, my arm right into the sky. So there's a lot of springy energy there in the finger waiting to be tapped. But of course, old school finger action would brutalize that whole process and say, I'm gonna work the muscles of my finger. Yeah, I'm certainly working the muscles of my finger, but that's abuse. It's not structurally functional. What I did before was a functional transfer of the weight using the natural springiness in the fingers and hand itself, not relying on the arm to do the job, but of course allowing the arm to come along. So now that springiness is, I've learned that springiness. It's in my fingers. The faster I go, the more that springiness can launch me forward along with the arm which is carrying the hand forward. So it's the function of this hand structure and understanding it and understanding the mechanics of it and the organic relationship of the parts that allows me to transfer running on the ground with my legs to running on the keyboard with my fingers. Try it out. Try to imitate what I just did, but go slowly. Stop this video like 10 times between the beginning and the end and really try to feel each of the things I'm talking about and see whether you can detect a change in your piano ability.